What's going on guys? My name is Keizo, and welcome back to this rogue leveling series. Um, two things you might notice right off the bat. Uh, I look different and epic beard. Alright, um, it's been a while, I know. I've been extremely busy with work. Uh, for those of you who don't watch my other videos and haven't heard, um, I did get a new job and I've been extremely busy, um, with that, which has been going very well. Um, but unfortunately that does mean less time to make YouTube videos, but we shall, uh, we shall continue on. Um, okay, Warlords came out. <laughs> this is how long I've been away. Uh, the new models are out. Um, that's why Epic Beard and Dwarf models look so much better now. Um, they look like dwarves. As opposed to looking like dwarves. Now they look like dwarves. Anyway, um... And you might notice a change of scenery as well. Um, I decided to come out to Darkshore. Um, two reasons. Um, I've done the Dune Maro Wetlands quest about four times in a row at this point. Um, figured it'd be nice to come out here because I don't think I've actually run through this entire zone. Um, this entire zone being um, Darkshore and... Uh, Ashenvale, which is a horde territory now. Hmm. Uh, Darkshore, Stone Talon, all all those since Cataclysm came out. I've done all the Eastern Kingdoms quests. Um, most of them anyway for the uh, other races, but I don't think I've actually run through the entirety of quests in this area here. Um, one thing that we do need to do is find a weapons vendor. Which may be easier said than done. Uh, mining trainer. Where would the weapons vendor be? Where would the weapons vendor be? Trade supplies, blacksmithing, armor and shield crafter, warlock trainer, mage trainer, hunter trainer, priest trainer, battle pet trainer. Uh, engineering, we will... Have we learned any professions yet? Oh god, it's been so long, I don't even know. No, we haven't. Okay. So let do that, then. Um, and we do still need to pick our class spec. That is why I'm looking for a weapons vendor. Because in order to pick our spec, we're going to need the right kind of weapon for our spec. I'm going to be extremely sad if there's actually no weapons vendor around here. Other armor, general goods, rogue trainer. Hmm. Well, this could put a hold on things. A general goods vendor wouldn't have it. Yes, I'm, I'm trying to... Hold on. <laughs> you there, we need able bodies. Okay, I know, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find a traitor. Oh god. Stop yelling at me. Alright, um... Here's what we'll do. Suppose we'll do this for now. You don't have anything. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We'll go ahead and choose a spec, but we'll have to do it with what we have. Um, and that means... Subtlety is kinda out for now. Ah, uh, you know what? We'll do it anyway. We'll pick up daggers when we pick them up. Um, because backside we get at level 40, so we don't need to worry about that. Um, and considering I'm on a PvP server, which as of right now is more horde populated than Alliance, I think sub Subtlety will be the best choice. Um, that way when we need to, we can pop in and out of stealth, use our stealth abilities all um all that good stuff so i think we are going to go subtlety so we'll go ahead and learn that 
Ta-da! And we've got Hemorrhage. And a passive effect, Sinister Calling, which increases our total agility by 15%, and you gain 5% more of the multi-strike stat from all multi-strike stat from all sources. Um, when you multi-strike with backstab or ambush, you also twist the blade, causing all of your bleed effects to advance by two seconds, triggering an instant tick, which is cool. Um, and multi-strike. These are the new stat changes for warlords here um obviously we've still got our critical strike we've got our haste bonus armor is a new one that's for tanks multi-strike leech versatility and avoidance those are all new uh they call them tertiary stats they're really like the third tier of stats you've got your your agility and stamina which are main stats for primary stats and then you've got secondary stats which would be um, like for this would be 2 plus 2 haste experience gained from monsters 5% those are uh, secondary stats and then the tertiary stats would be this right here uh, multi, multi strike which is grants a however much percent chance to deliver extra attacks or heals for 30% of normal value leech is returns a portion of your damage and healing as healing back to you Versatility increases damage and healing done by X percent and decreases damage taken by X percent. And then avoidance reduces damage taken from area, effective, area of effect attacks um, by X percent. Obviously, we don't have any of those yet. Um, we will get there eventually. So, um, another thing you might notice, I do have a guild now. This is... Um, actually my guild as you can see there's my main right there I just hit level 100 with him um, I've just gotten the time to actually play him a bit and um, hit level 100 with him but I do have a couple of crafted um, blacksmithing epics for him um, that there and then one that I can't get to right now but as you can see I've got a good bit of gear going with him um, Working on his professions, maxing out his professions, all that stuff. Um, but that's going good. Like I said, though, I really have minimal time to, to um, wow at this point. So I'm working with the time that I have available. And I do want to keep this leveling series going. Um, I know it's getting good views in the start, and I will continue as long as I can with this. Um, although it might not be every week. I Well, I'll try and at least get a video out every week um if not more than that if i can but as of right now i usually have maybe two days off a week usually it's one all right so we have picked our class spec which was subtlety um as you can see our sinister strike has be been with bleh, i cannot speak today i don't know what's going on our sinister strike has been replaced with hemorrhage which costs 30 energy it's instant requires a melee weapon obviously and it says, an instant strike that deals 13 physical damage, increased 40% if a dagger is equipped. See, this is why I wanted a weapons vendor to get daggers. And causes the target to bleed for an additional 12 damage over 24 seconds. Awards one combo point. So, we've got our class spec. Um, I do want to train engineering. So, we'll run over here, because I did see an engineering trainer over here. Interesting. We will train engineering. All right, then. Engineering has all sorts of fun little gadgets and stuff. Um, we'll go what ahead and train archaeology since oh we already have archaeology. That's enough gabbing for me today. Uh, there's nobody in here, so take a quick look at this. We've got our engineering. Uh, I suppose we'll train mining as well. I am honored. Do I want to train mining? I may do something besides mining because my main is a miner, and I suppose I can always just send this tune stuff from my main. There's really no point in leveling a profession all the way up again if I have already got it. So 
so we might hold off on that second profession for now. Um, we will go ahead and put our hearthstone set to here though. And then run over and pick up this quest over here. Um, I know I did say I was going to get into the story, so for story-wise, um, we were over in Dunmoreau, we went to Ironforge to train and get a haircut, and while we were there, we were sent over to Darkshore to help out our Night Elf allies. Um, of course, the Cataclysm happened, albeit a few years ago, but Darkshore is still in ruins, and we'll go ahead and talk to this priestess right here and see what's going on. The last wave of survivors. It's too late for Laird. He didn't make it in time. The last wave of night elves from Aberdeen attempted to escape a couple of hours ago. They stayed in their old home, clinging to hope that it could be salvaged, but it seems they were finally forced out. I fear many of them won't make it, it like Laird did not. Quickly go down the coast to the west and find any survivors that you can. We're sending sentinels and hippogriffs down, but every moment counts. We need to know which ones might make it. And our quest objective is to locate any refugees from Aberdeen that are still alive. So we'll head off this way. And now we can talk to this other quest giver over here that was yelling at us before. I want one of those Worgen top hats. I don't know where I can get one though. There, we need able bodies as fast as possible, lives depend on it. Threat from the water. Some of the survivors of this last Aberdeen attack are still trying to make it up the coast to safety. We only caught word that they were coming within the last hour. I wish we had more warning. The coastline west of us is swarming with bile spray, vicious little water elementals. We need to clear them out if any of the survivors have a chance of making it to Lord and I. Depart immediately and kill every elemental you see. We need to kill eight bile sprays. So we'll go ahead and head out this way. Get my keybinds all set up. Master of Subtlety, which is nice. That's a, um, I believe that's a perk from our class spec. Does that show up here? Apparently not, but anyway, damage de dealt is increased by 10% when we are stealthed. A lot of guards just kind of standing by a rock. Right. Looking for elementals. small elemental. Things don't stand much of a chance. Oh, this looks like a survivor here. Bulkor's body lies motionless. As you begin to move away, a hand reaches out and grabs your ankle. He's alive. Bulkor, I'm so glad that you made it, but where's Grimclaw? Don't worry about him later. I need to get you need to get you to safety. Thank you for your help, friend. I'll take it from here. Alright. Glad to be of service, night elf person, ma'am. Thing. Uh, is this another survivor here? No, apparently not.
can't wait to get higher in levels so we can um, terrorize the hordes. Just because on this server, like I said, it's kind of horde dominated um, since the merge. And it's been kind of a pain, um, especially trying to level my main. I've been ganked countless amounts of times, and there's a lot of them. Usually they travel in packs. Here is the other survivor. A whisper escapes Sheldon's throat as you approach. Help, please. Oh, we're already being called a hero. Hooray. And dead. Targeted. Completely forgot about our poison. There should be more of these up there. There is. Uh, I guess we can put here. Seven. Still need two survivors. Here's one of them here, Cerulean White Claws. As you approach, you hear Cerulean gasping for breath. He looks to stand a chance if rescued soon. are so badass. Even my beard flies when I jump. Epic beard for the win. Is this? Oh, there it is. Gershala rolls onto his side to look at you as you approach, and you see a hopeful smile creep onto his face. And those quests are done! Go ahead and make our way back to Lord and I. The ruins of Aberdeen are off that away. And unfortunately, this video is going to have to be cut at about 20 minutes because I just looked at the clock and it's time for me to leave for work my real job. <laughs> this is my second job. Alright, Third from the Water, your efforts are very much appreciated. Since the Cataclysm, the Elementals have been out of control. We have little hope of taking back Aberdeen without extinguishing their presence first. Farewell. And we get an achievement for 50 quests completed. Thank you, Rogue. Some of them surely would not have made it without you. We will be taking the wounded to the main building once we have them all safely back in town. Perhaps you can meet us there later. Goddess, watch over you. And we've got two more quests to grab, but unfortunately, as I said, I do need to head out. So we will go ahead and cut this video here. Um, I believe I have tomorrow off, so there will be more videos coming tomorrow. Um, like I said, I will try and get at least one out a week. Um, if not more than that and this video or this series I should say will continue um, 
I apologize for the long wait or long break between videos, but like I said, I've been extremely busy, um, and it's all for the better of things. Um, actually, I will be getting a new PC soon, um, and I will be able to actually turn my graphic settings up to ultra. They have been on medium and low for the longest time because my PC is ancient. Potato computers, yay. Anyway, guys, um, thank you very much for sticking around. Um, definitely like, rate, or, wow, like the video, I just said rate, this is like six years ago, YouTube, wow. Alright, like the video, subscribe, comment, let me see, uh, let me know what you want to see, my brain is not functioning right now, I apologize. Let me know what you want to see, there's still plenty more to come, guys. Uh, until next time, my name is Keizo, take care.